What's up everyone, this is Mike from wohotech.com and today I'm going to show you one of the best PDF readers and file storage applications for the iPhone. Now as I'm taping this, we are broadcasting live via wohotalk.com so if you ever want to see one of our live streams, we just talk about technology, have a fun chat, and we also do some video reviews of applications. This is actually the first application that I've reviewed on a live broadcast. So I'm very excited. So if you want to see one of those, just go to wohotalk.com. Now moving on to the review. This application that we are going to review, as I said, is one of the best PDF readers and file storage applications for the iPhone. It is called PDF Expert. Now, PDF Expert originally released just for the iPad, and later on, a few weeks ago, an iPhone version came out. It costs $9.99 from the App Store. Now, let me just say right now, this app is awesome. It is one of my favorite applications and is well worth the money for me. However, it may not be worth the money for other people. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the features that PDF Expert offers, and then you can decide whether you want those extra features or if you just want a simple PDF reading application for less money. Now let me tell you now though that this is the only app that offers advanced PDF viewing and editing. So I can't compare this app to other file reading applications. So if you want extra features in your PDF viewing experience, then this is the app for you. So let's go on and open the application. So this is the main screen. So first of all, you can store files. So this is the uh, document storage place. You have folders and all the files that you have downloaded to your device. So you can store files on the device, but how do you get those files on there? Well, first of all, you can use your computer to access the storage wirelessly via your web browser. You can also add online servers via this right here. So some online services that it offers, we'll go to add. So the first one is Riedel Storage. Now I want to tell you a little bit about that. Riedel is actually the company that developed this application and they offer this thing called Riedel Storage. Riedel Storage works with a few of their applications and it also works online within a web browser. You can get a free plan with 512 megabytes of storage or you can get 2 gigabytes of storage for $5 a month or $45 per year. You can also get 10 gigabytes of storage for $10 a month or $90 per year. Now you can access Riedel Storage through this application, through other Riedel applications, or through your web browser on the computer. Now another option that is offered is MobileMe iDisk. You can also use Public iDisk. So uh, these are MobileMe applications offered by Apple. So you just go to apple.com to learn more about MobileMe and the plans that are offered. I'll tell you now though, if you don't know much about MobileMe, uh, MobileMe does not offer any free plans. It is a paid service. I believe it is $99 per year. They do not offer monthly plans. And MobileMe comes with a bunch of more things um, besides just the storage. But if you have MobileMe, you can add that to this application. Dropbox is in this application. Google Docs. SugarSync. FTP servers. SFTP servers or other WebDAV servers. You can add a box.net account, a mydisk.se account, filesanywhere.com, Storegate, and iCloud. So those are the services that you can add. And I have tried each of those services on this app, and they all work very well. Now, this app offers an extremely cool feature that I love that I've never seen in any other file storing application, and that is syncing. So if you open a server and tap edit, most of the servers will appear with this little sync button here. That sync button will synchronize anything on that server with your documents library. So you can access that server anytime basically, even if you are offline. So this is a great option if you have an iPod Touch or an iPad with Wi-Fi only access. Because then you can access your files on the server without having to be connected to the internet. So not all of the servers that are offered in this application support syncing. So I'm just going to go through the services that do and do not. So Riedel Storage does use syncing. MobileMe iDisk and Public iDisk also support syncing. And Dropbox also supports syncing. However, Google Docs does not support syncing. So if you add a Google Docs account, 
then you will not be able to sync the files. SugarSync supports syncing, however FTP servers or SFTP servers do not support syncing. WebDAV servers do support syncing, and the rest of the servers also support syncing. So that would be box.net, mydisk.se, filesanywhere.com, Storegate, or iCloud. Those all support syncing. So the only ones that do not support syncing are Google Docs and FTP and SFTP servers. Now if you do use a server that does not support syncing, this application does support downloading as well, obviously, as you would expect. So I'm going to go to an FTP server. Actually, no. I'm going to go to a Gmail server. Open up a Gmail server. So this is my uh, Google Docs account. And if you go to Edit, you have a little download button down here. You can also upload files that are stored to your device, which is also a cool feature. And if you wanted to do a mass download, then you could just do a select all real easily and then click on download. Now this app can open major file formats like PDFs obviously due to the name and major image formats like JPEGs, PNGs, and bitmaps and other major document formats like Microsoft Word formats and Mac formats and then it will play iPhone compatible video so any video that will play on your iPhone uh, via your web browser or if you downloaded it through an app it will play in this application as well. Uh, that is usually a QuickTime or MP4 video that will play. You can also store any file you want, uh, regardless of whether the app will open it. You can just use it as a flash drive, maybe. Um, if you connect it to iTunes, in the iTunes window under Apps, there is a, a little file sharing widget. So you can click on the application, and it will show you all of the files that are stored in the application. So then... Uh, you can download the files that are in that application. So that's a pretty cool feature. That was actually something that iTunes added. So uh, thanks Apple, I guess. And you can also access all of your files wirelessly through your web browser. We're going to move on into the PDF abilities of this application. Uh, it is a PDF reader mostly due to the name PDF Expert. So let's open up a PDF. Here's a PDF. Pretty nice. You can zoom, stuff like that. You have your basic PDF functions. Uh, as you just saw, it could go full screen. So just tap to exit full screen and tap again to go to full screen. You can lock the screen orientation with this button down here. Uh, unlike the iPhone screen orientation uh, that's built in, this will work both ways. So it's locked in the portrait right now. And then if I rotate it to landscape, I can press lock and then it will lock into landscape. Now this application will recognize words within the PDF application so you can do a search and search for a particular word and it will highlight all instances of that word in the document. You can also add a bookmark within the PDF so there is a list of uh, bookmarks there, I don't have any and then there's also outline. If the PDF you opened has a table of contents, uh, this outline will give you a, a real nice view of the table of contents. And then annotations, uh, there's also a list for those as well. As you see, I do not have any. And then you have a little more option button. So you can go to a specific page, send the PDF by email, do a text reflow, which is actually a pretty cool feature. It'll take out all the images and just show you text. So I really like that feature. However, that will only work if you uh, are opening a PDF that is formatted properly to support that text feature. Um, not all PDFs are formatted to, like, for the PDF reader to recognize the text. So. Uh, this particular PDF is formatted that way. It just depends on how the PDF was made. It has nothing to do with the reader. Uh, and also, when you do this text reflow, you can change the font size, make it smaller, and then you have buttons to go to the next and previous page. So we'll go back to the original view. So you can also print using Apple AirPrint, and then open in 
uh, to open in another file application. So another feature that I really like in this app is the ease of scrolling through pages. So when you are in full screen mode, in order to scroll through pages, you do not need to drag. Sometimes we're too lazy to drag. So in this app, just tap the top or bottom to move to the next page. That's a feature that I really like. Another way, uh, if your PDF has a lot of pages, you can use the scroll bar to uh, scroll throughout the pages. So when you press the scroll bar by your finger, it'll tell you what page number uh, it will go to when you release. So some of the more advanced stuff you can do in this application is stuff like adding notes and even text to the PDF. So if you tap and hold some white space, a little menu will come up saying note or text. So I can tap note, and then I can add a little note, click on done, and then a little note icon will appear where I put that note. So if I tap the note icon, the note will pop up, so I'll just trash this note. I can also add text by pressing text. Type in the text I want, so I'll type in hi. And then we'll zoom in so you can see it. Okay, now if you tap and hold on a word, then you get some options for that word. So here are some of the formatting options. So there's the underline, there's the highlight, and there is the cross out. Now another advanced feature is the ability to use fill-in forms. Okay, so I have a W9 tax form, which I'm going to open up. It is in PDF form. So there it is. And just for the sake of being able to view it nicely, we're going to switch to landscape. So as you can see, it highlights the forms in blue, so you can easily see uh, what you can fill in. And then if you just tap on it, you get your keyboard, and it highlights it yellow so you know where you are. So you get your keyboard, you just type into it. Yay. And then done. And it saves. Uh, so it's very compatible with these types of forms. Uh, Checkboxes work as well. Uh, so it is a very nice feature as well that it supports these kind of files. Um, obviously, you're probably not going to be too, doing too much of this on your iPhone. But this may be a nice feature for iPad as well. And Riedel claims that this is the only application that supports these type of forms. So if you want an application that can fill out, for example, W9 tax forms, uh, then this would be the application for you. If you do a lot of PDF form filling out stuff, then you would definitely want to buy this application. Also, if the PDF supports saving what you typed in, it will sync if you have the PDF saved on a synced server. So I have this PDF syncing with my Dropbox, so after I edit some of it, it will automatically start syncing to my Dropbox. It will also tell me up here that I have one change to sync, so I can just tap the sync button. And then uh, push changes will just sync the changes, and then a full sync will uh, do a two-way sync, so it'll check for changes on the computer as well. So this was my demonstration of the application, and now we are moving on to the review. I highly recommend this app to anyone who is looking for an app that offers advanced PDF controls. However, there may be people who see this app and like the storage features, but they could live without the advanced PDF options. In this case, I would not recommend this application, because Riedel has another application called Riedel Docs, and that is basically a PDF expert without the PDF tools. So this app offers all the same storage options like servers, syncing, Wi-Fi drive, and will open many files as well. One major drawback of PDF Expert is that other apps cannot send PDF files to it, uh, which kind of defeats the purpose of the entire application because it is a PDF reader. So PDF Expert does not show in this list. But anyways, if you are looking for advanced PDF controls, then this is the app for you. Uh, also, look out for my review of Riedel Docs, which is extremely similar to this app, but it does not have PDF tools. And also, I will be doing a giveaway of this application, 
so keep an eye out for a video coming very soon, and it will explain uh, how to enter the giveaway and what exactly I am giving away. So, I will see you guys in the next video.